any questions or any thoughts about selling, drop me a message down below. We'll answer those questions for you. Um, if you haven't had any thoughts of selling, you probably know somebody that has and you'll wanna share this video with them because I have two tips as a seller that you can take advantage of this unprecedented seller's market. And you don't wanna miss that, plus I have a crazy story I wanna share with you about a couple of multiple offer situations that we've been in. So, have you ever been to an auction? Now, if you haven't ever been to a live auction, it's amazing. That's how Sotheby's got its start, actually, in London at an auction house. So say you have this very rare guitar that, and I'm just gonna pick Elvis Presley, and let's say Paul McCartney played it as well, and then Michael Jackson, I think that's the chain of, of uh, the kings of rock and roll and pop. So we have this great guitar, and it's this auction, and you've been wanting this guitar so badly. And you go to this auction, and there's three people there. One person has no idea what's going on, they're not interested, they're there for some other items. The second person, maybe lukewarm, the opening bid starts. And of course, if you're the only one bidding on this guitar, you're probably gonna get it for a great deal, right? You're gonna say, hey, at the very beginning, go for list price. Now, word gets out about this auction. There's, everybody is in the room. There's 100 people in this auction. Everyone's sweating, it's getting hot in there, and they all start bidding. Well, what happens is the bid gets run up, and it gets kind of nuts and crazy, and that's what's happening in today's seller's market. So I had the seller, and I wanna tell you about, um, you know, tell of two sellers. I'm gonna rip off Dickens right here. So best of times, worst of times. It was the age of wisdom and it was the age of foolishness. So seller one, they decided, as we were talking about going to the market, you know, we wanna list our home for 650. 6% 6 of 650, $39,000. That's a substantial chunk of change. And they're like, you know, I'm not sure if we wanna pay a realtor's commission. Our neighbors know of somebody, we're just gonna do a private sell and sell it to them. Uh, which I understand, I can respect that, however, I'm here to protect seller's best interest and help them get the most money for their property. So they went ahead and sold it. Now let me tell you about this other seller. We brought a property, it was a custom home, this beautiful property to the market for $690. An aggressive agent talked to the seller, got in the day before we went to the market, which is great. Aggressive agents are awesome in today's market and that's how you have to be. So they came, they showed the property. Of course, their buyer is going to bring a full price offer to my seller and my seller, woo! They were excited, they were happy, they were pleased. And I said, hold up, wait a second. We haven't gone to the market. We haven't let all the eyes see this home. So the next day it goes out, we do our marketing, we have our marketing and share of reach that most, um, that the agents have, we put it on the multiple listing service, but then in addition, Sotheby's has even more uh, marketing avenues that I'm gonna tell you about in just a minute. We put it on the market, the first day, we get another offer, 725. Woohoo, we're up $35,000. Of course, my seller is super happy. But then the bulldog negotiation tactics come into play. So we go back to the first offer. Hey, we have an offer for 725. Do you wanna match that? Do you wanna beat that? Of course they did, so they came up to 750. We go back and forth. It gets a little ugly, tensions rise, emotions get high. I threaten to get sued a couple times. It gets a little, you know, dog eat dog. But I'm here, again, to protect my seller and work in their best interest. That property that we listed at 690 wound up selling for 850. So that's $160,000 extra. Now, if I ask you from those two sellers, who paid more? Really? Who who's had the higher expense? And so, you know, think of that seller and what they can do with that extra $160,000 that I'm so excited that they were able to get. And, you know, they can take their whole family on a big trip to Disneyland uh, when it opens. I think they went to Disney World in Florida because it's open and create lifetime memories. So I wanted to share that crazy story um, and share with you those two tips. So have as many eyes on the property as possible. If you're thinking about selling, make sure that it's getting out there to everybody, that you're not just doing some private sell because you may have buyers that will bid against each other as many are, right now our average property is having three uh, offers on the property. And then also make sure that you have a bulldog negotiation uh, just to make sure that it's someone is looking out for your best interest. So I wanna show you some of the stats that we have. Um, when this, market, this property came to market, 
we had 82, uh, 84 property views that sold in four days. And this is the first time I've live streamed, you guys. So um, give me some love, give me some hearts. Drop me your favorite emoji. Um, we're streaming to Instagram, we're streaming to Facebook. I just wanna share with you this crazy seller's market um, and make sure as a seller, if you've been considering selling, that you take advantage of those two things, that your property is getting out to as many eyes as possible. I call it peepers on the property. And, um, you know, Sotheby's, again, we have on our YouTube channel, we have 150, 350,000 subscribers with 150 million views. So yeah, you can put up a sign and a couple people might drive by or word of mouth or even put it on like Zillow or something. But if you really want to get it out there, you need a vehicle in which to do that. Um, and so if you have any questions, again, comment below. I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. Send me your favorite emoji. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mark the little um, bell so that your next time that we go live, you'll be notified. And I hope you make it a great day and happy selling.